In the north of the autonomous community of Aragon, La Hoya de Huesca appears as a diverse complex of landscapes and ecosystems. The location of La Hoya de Huesca straddling the pre-Pyrenean mountains and the Ebro Basin gives this region both Atlantic and Mediterranean features. With distinct climatic conditions that favor a high biodiversity in its flora and fauna, summits, stacks, ravines and limestone gorges enclosing anything from Euro-Siberian beech tree forests to Mediterranean shrublands. The most significant and recognizable pre-Pyrenean ranges are, from west to east, Santo Domingo, Loari, Caballera, Gratal, Aguila, Gabadiela and Guara, considered as the county's ceiling. Their origin was in fact a marine shelf of warm shallow waters, as attested by the numerous fossils. Guara's limestone rocks subjected to the erosive action of slightly acidic water have been transformed into spectacular landscapes of canyons and sinkholes, cavities and caves. The mountainous Guara landscape is connected to the Ebro Basin through an extensive network of bio-leached glaciers, characteristic of the foothills of La Hoya de Huesca. The Malos de Riglos is one of the most recognizable landscapes of La Hoya. Its current aspect is the result of the patient work of nature over six million years. Its height of over 300 meters is a true paradise for climbers from all countries far and wide. Many birds nest on its walls, attracting observation by scientists and amateurs. Watching birds of prey takes time, but it isn't too difficult if you have patience and a pair of binoculars, and if you've chosen your observation area well. The bioclimatic contrast between shaded and sunny areas allows for the presence of beech and fir forests even in the southernmost parts of the mountains. Portuguese oak are predominant below these altitudes, well represented in the valleys of Russell, Argus, Belsui and Nocito. Its leaves do not fall until new shoots bud in the spring. Pine trees replace oaks in many places. The common box and bearberry predominate the underbrush. Other species include the honeysuckle and vernal flowers such as liverwort and cowslip. The degradation of these forests has given way to vast expanses of Echinospartum. The lower parts of the Pre-Pyrenean mountains, sunny slopes and foothills are occupied by the Mediterranean trees par excellence, the holm and holly oaks. In the woody areas we can find hunters well adapted to the thickets. Many predators run across the forests. With regards to the large herbivores, deer, roe deer and mountain goat can be observed. The plains and agricultural areas are spaces that have been shaped by civilization over the centuries. Among these crops, almond trees stand out, flowering especially early, between January and March, defying the frost, filling the countryside with white or pale pink flowers, one of the most spectacular sights in nature. Adapted to agricultural areas, we have the common buzzard, common kestrel and lesser kestrel, falcon, merlin and montagues, hen and western marsh harriers. Cereal growing areas bring other steppe birds of different orders. Some of these are highly endangered in Europe due to the disappearance of their habitat. Notably, pintailed and black-bellied sand grouse or the Eurasian bustard only visits us occasionally. Water, the essential life factor, shapes and spreads a variety of habitats, both in the plains and in the mountains through river channels. The rivers Gallego, Soton, Izuela Flumen, Guatizalema, Calcon and Formiga, as well as pools and reservoirs fill our region of riparian woods, reed beds and tamarisks. Amongst the abundant amphibia that live near or in the water are the common toad and the natterjack toad, mostly land animals, while the green frog is more common in watery areas. In the gorges of the Pyrenees we can find the endemic Pyrenean brook salamanders in clean, oxygenated water in the remotest corners of the mountain ranges. The Gallego River is one of the most important tributaries of the Ebro, making its way through the mountains perforating the spectacular gorge of La Gorgocha between its dam and the Malos de Riglos. Thousands of people come here every year to ride the waves, curls and currents, rafting, canoeing and riverboarding. The wetlands such as Alboré, Cortés and Loreto, together with the reservoirs of La Pena, Arguis, Las Navas and La Sotonera, all constitute critical habitats, a refuge for aquatic fauna. Among aquatic birds, herons have experienced a significant population increase with the creation of irrigation channels and reservoirs and extension of the red swamp crawfish or Louisiana crayfish. Up to nine different species can be spotted in the region. The well-known storks, our white stork neighbors, chimney tenants. For about the last 30 years, the black-headed gull has been accompanied by the yellow-legged gull from the Mediterranean. The waterbird family includes the mallard duck, the most abundant and familiar throughout the year. Other species come to spend the winter with us, with the most notable flocks in Valdabra, Loreto, La Sotonera and Las Navas. 
any journey through La Hoya de Huesca is an unforgettable experience. You can enjoy enclaves, unique landscapes and incredible views, as well as this region's unique ornithological wealth.